Guys, uh, just doing a little video on our GPS speedometer. Now this is a fantastic unit. It does not require any connections to anything apart from your power. So if you connect it to your auxiliary wire, so when you put the key on to the ignition, uh, and that wire provides the power, uh, you're not going to have absolutely any issues at all. It doesn't require a speed sensor, it doesn't require a Holloway sensor anyway. Um, it's basically um, a unit that purely tracks your GPS position. And that's having a little bit of a field day because we're indoors. I'm surprised it even has a, a lock while we're indoors, but it's shown three satellites, which I'll get to in a minute. Now this unit has about a 64 millimeter face with a 61 millimeter cutout. Uh, which is means it's clear, it's large. If you have boats with old-fashioned water uh, pressure pickup uh, in order to generate speed, which is very inefficient, this unit will will make life a lot easier. Um, it seems like the face is pretty much waterproof and splash-proof, so probably for boats it's okay. I wouldn't put something like this on a jet ski, um, but I think for most boats it's going to be fine. Um, the unit will show you your current time, which is incorrect because it's morning. Uh, and I'm sorry, we're using the, the packaging of the box just to hold it up as a little as a little store. Now, so your function, that's your speed limiter. Uh, that's 0.5 actually, I had to look at it up. That means uh, half a second refresh rate uh, for how fast it picks up uh, the speed and how fast it refreshes it. You don't want it sometimes just to be bouncing around so you can set it. And I think you can go up to two seconds. Now, that's your voltmeter. Very handy if you're on a boat and you're just parked up somewhere so you can see if the voltage is dropping too much and maybe time to start the motor up again. Um, now you've got three satellites as you can see. Uh, that's a total distance travel so that's your equivalent to your odometer. Now just be mindful that's going to be your default when you start up uh, the machine. So you're going to show the GPS speed and you're going to go to your odometer. Now you've got the mounting bracket so you'll once you drill your 61 millimeter hole you'll slide it in you will put this through the behind and it'll cap the unit and I'll show you what I mean by that. So once you've drilled the hole, this will slide in. You'll put this over the top and with these two little screws they'll mount the unit flush up on the face of the jet ski as I said or the boat or caravan, whatever, whatever machine that you want to be using it on. Um, now there's obviously no battery so it runs just off the 12 volt system that you've got comes with a really nice manual so you can see what cutouts you have for your panels, your functions, how to put it in and that's what I was talking about so that's when you put it in your panel. Um, now for this unit I think we only required a total of two wires to run it. These are your different functions so it shows you what to do, how to set it up, although apart from really kilometers and miles there's really not to do but I'll bring this page up and I guess an important thing is obviously this unit is 1224 volts. So you can run it on most trucks um, and on most 12 vehicle, 12 volt vehicle applications. Um, now we'll put all the, a little bit of the details and the link um, in the YouTube description if this is on YouTube or Facebook. And uh, you can buy this at your local Crossfire dealer from Crossfire directly in a lot of cases. Um, please leave any comments or if you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll try to answer them as soon as we can.